Hi guys, today we are going to show you some tips and tricks for makeup in your 40s. Monique, say hello. Hi everybody. What we want to do today is show you how makeup can actually either age you or make you look younger. Monique, do you have some really good tips that you're going to share with us today? I think when you're in your 40s, it's yes. the perfect time for you to use makeup to your advantage. Yes, it's now or never. <laughs> Joking, <laughs> Brie. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint half of Brie's face and leave the other side naked and bare so that you can see what makeup can actually do to dramatically improve your appearance. So what are we going to start with if you look at Brie's face? We're going to start with her foundation. Mm -hmm. We want to keep it nice and moisturized. You don't want to make it too full coverage. You don't want to make it too matte or too much powder. And if the color is important, you use a light and a dark color when it comes to your foundation. Brie did mention to me that her Danish skin goes quite fair and yes. quite dark in summer. Okay. So there's nice little tips that we can use there to, to get the right color throughout the year. Okay, so let's get started. And remember to look at our viewers when you're talking to them, please. I'm talking to them. They want to feel involved in this process. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start with the Catrice Balance Hydro Spray. And it's great for sensitive skin and to moisturize her skin and to get it nice and moisturized before we start with foundation. Okay. Now I'll go in with the oil. So this is the Glow Beautifying Face Oil. And it actually is, a, it's an oil with a bit of a glitter particle. So they're actually- Glitter? Nice, well, shimmer, glow, glow, not I'm glitter. very scared of glitter, Brie. <laughs> glitter is a so curse you when you're in your forties. <laughs> so you want to give it a good shake. So I think the important thing is really, especially when you're getting a little bit older or you're in your forties, is to really prepare your skin beautifully because isn't that really the trick when it comes to foundation? That if you don't prepare your skin and you don't moisturize and hydrate it, that foundation is gonna become crumbly and cakey and sink into all those creases, which is exactly the opposite of what you wanna do. It actually makes the, makes the application of foundation so much easier. Now we're gonna go in with the Clinique um, Moisture Surge Eye Cream. Okay. And we are just gonna place this under the eye. That's another thing I think people often forget before putting concealer under their eyes to actually first prime the under eye area as well. Because your regular moisturizer isn't going to really work underneath your eye. You need something a little bit more suited to the delicate skin area around the eyes. Absolutely, a nice little tip is also to go into the little lines here around the mouth the nasolabial lines those ones your ring finger is just less pressure so it just blends in much easier when you do this you're going to actually remove and push too hard and cause more wrinkles and cause more wrinkles always dab 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 never pull okay so patrice has launched a sensational uh, 10 in one dream power primer so this will this is your most important step when you in your 40s but what I love about this, it also has a bit of a tint. So it's actually going to add a bit of coverage for her. So this is also enough coverage for your everyday routine. But we obviously going to do more than that. We're gonna, this is our first layer. Because we're not scared. Makeup. <laughs> we love Makeup. 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 Now a little bit of lip conditioner. This is a very popular product amongst our makeup artists. It's a eight hour cream. Prime Minister's Garden. So for the foundation, we're gonna use Essence and it is their Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Okay. I've used two colors because the one's slightly warmer and the other one's slightly cooler. Yes. And a combination of the two is gonna make the ultimate color for Brie. Okay. But I mean, that really depends on your own skin color. Not everyone yes. will need two shades. It's just lucky Brie that now has to spend double the amount of money well if you use two sh if you buy two sh if you buy a summer color in summer mm. and your winter color in winter you'll be able to make your color customized every morning nice me i love putting the excess from my brush on the lids as this is going to act as, a, as an eye primer for us later so what's the importance of an eye primer especially for older skin on the eyelids it's the only thing that's going to help you from preventing of eyeshadow transferring. 
So that's the biggest issue when you're older is that makeup just doesn't last. It just feels like it's moving all the time. But you also don't want it to make creases into the lines. Yeah. So there's a certain amount. Too much of a cream can work against you. Okay. So you've got to be careful. But just the right amount. <laughs> just the right amount. Just the right amount, guys. We can't tell you exactly what that is. But is there a tip for them to gauge? Um, you don't want it to look like there's excess product, but you want it to just sink in nicely. Yes. Like if, you, if you're going to use your finger for a cream product, like placing it in, you'll be able to feel. And when, once you open your eye and close it again, and you see a crease, then you know if you use too much. Okay. Then you can always just blend it off. Okay, great. Also, that you is just running the excess of the colors down the neck. Is there a specific brush that you recommend? 130, it's a stick in brush from that. So it's got, got a combination of natural and synthetic fibers. Okay, great. And with the buffing effect, it actually blurs the foundation into the skin. So you don't, it doesn't look when you're painting like it's just sitting on the skin. It's actually yes. buffing in. Another technique I love to do. As I spray my rose water or any hydration mist on my beauty blender and any excess product will be removed and this just kind of blends it into the skin better by just placing kind of like dabbing pushing, pushing it in pushing it into the skin now what are we doing so we're going to do concealer now, Claire. This is a crucial step for in your 40s. Like yes. you can really make this count in your favor. We're going to use a lighter and a darker concealer. We're going to conceal and we're going to highlight and contour all at the same time now. Okay. You have to show us. Okay, so we're going to use the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Okay. But you want to place your concealer down the center of the eye. And then with a slight angle up on the outer corner. What does that do? This is now part of the lifting technique. This is now part of the anti-aging tips. The more lift you create here in the outer corner of the eye, the more youthful you look. And then over here, you all have a little bit of blue. Mm. You know, if you turn it a little bit like this way, mm. a little bit of blue, a little bit of red under the eye and you almost want to do a little tick shape you want to drag that concealer i always find people use too little concealer but you don't want is it not also better to pat that product in rather than to swipe it yes definitely like you're doing there now like this if, when you're doing your own foundation your own concealer you could definitely use your finger this little brush just mimics it well for me the other places I love to place my concealer is in the, in the middle of the forehead because you always need a little bit more coverage there. And the tippy of the nose, on the chin, and the outer corner of the mouth. <laughs> so your concealer is there, it's a fuller coverage, it's a small amount of product that you just place on certain areas. So wherever you've got discoloration or redness, um, that's where you can use the concealer so that the whole makeup look doesn't become super heavy and cakey but that you just blend it in to the foundation. Perfect. So have you used the lighter color? So Yes, so this is now the lighter color and the excess on my brush I'm using as eye primer again. You'll, you'll see me doing this a lot. Whatever's my excess, it always goes to the eye or the neck. There we go. So this is our late lighter shade. So you must clarify now, where did you use the lighter shade and where did you use the normal shade? Okay, so I've only I've only used the lighter shade so far. Okay. So it's underneath the eye, the tip of the nose, in the center of the forehead, forehead the center of the chin, the outer corner of the mouth. Because it's slightly lighter, these areas are going to come forward now. Okay. Now when I'm adding my slightly darker shade, let's use, create this. Create a little contour, a little bit of warmth. So you're actually using the darker concealer for contouring, not for concealing? For, no, not for concealing. This is also just nice and long wearing on the skin. It's a small product that makes a big impact. The key is to, of course, 
make it all blend everywhere because this is where people tend to fall short. What do you mean? Why are you using it there? Let's explain. Because we want to create the one color of the foundations made everything one tone now. Now we're adding a bit of warmth and dimension by adding this warmer color. It's like forehead contouring as well. You want everything, you want the centers to be light. Okay. Makes sense. So we want to create a little three from, from the top into your hollows, hollows here, and into your jawline. Great. What are we going in with now? This is your favorite tip, mm -hmm. the under eye powder that sets the concealer underneath the eyes and prevents any creasing. And this is from Laura Mercier. It's actually called the Under Eye Blurring Powder. And it's not it's finer than any other powder I've ever used before. Yeah, it's very fine. And that's why you can use it under the eyes. And you can see I'm using a very small brush. This is one of my favorites, the 224 from MAC. It's a very popular blending brush. I'm going to just use a small amount of powder under my eyes, and uh, on top of her eyes, just to mattify. As I can see, she's got a little bit of shine on her lids. What's happening now? Okay, now the best part ever is the eyebrows. Eyebrows is the one thing that you can really do to yourself that filling them in that can instantly give you a facelift. So what's great about this, it comes with a spoolie at the back and your product in the front. And this is actually refillable. Okay, so brush brows up, you can see I'm pushing it quite towards the opposite direction of the natural hair growth. The reason for this is you want to move all the excess product out and get the brows natural, fullest shape that it can naturally be. Even just doing that already gives her face a lift. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start in the arch and we're just going to mimic little hair strokes and follow a natural, you actually your eyebrows are perfect. And that's why I also love the same size. It's a, it's a waxy mm. pencil. Mm. So if you make a mistake, you can just quickly wipe it off mm. and carry on. But does it stay on though? How do you get it to stay on if it's so easy to wipe off? On, in between the hair. The wax okay. sits in between the hair very okay. well. Okay. See, I like to cross question her and see if she really knows. Just give me a they could be dark myself. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously the smoothie again afterwards, this actually moves all the waxy product through all the hair. <laughs> okay, what is next? Alright, so now we're gonna start with the eyes and we're gonna use a retractable crayon mm -hmm. cream eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. These guys are the best for mature people. The reason for that is it's just an easy application. You literally just cut it in your eyelid, focusing as close as possible to the lash line, of course. Coloring in to your crease. And then you're going to blend that out. And that is your cream base for any other eyeshadow that you would like to do on top. This is the 217 from MAC. This is a blending brush. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing again, except we're going to use a dark brown colour. And this is going to go along the lash line to define the lashes, make the lashes look fuller and create that lift in the eye. Because it's quite dark, I'm only using the tip of my brush. Small amount, and I'm just placing it onto my brush so I don't so I know exactly where I'm going. I'm not just going crazy. Okay. <laughs> you can close me. Like you always do. <laughs> you can only go crazy if you know what you're doing. <laughs> so now I'm just painting along the lash line. So now I have just applied my colour exactly where I want it. Now I'm going in with my 217 just to diffuse that edge and create a little bit of a a smoky effect but still to keep it dead. This is a beautiful palette from Catrice. These colors just absolutely complement her eye color and her skin tone perfectly. 
So is it, is it with green and blue eyes, it's always nice to go for rusty, warm, warm tones? Yes, because it's just, it's the opposite color, so it enhances it. So now I'm just going to go in with this beautiful neutral tone here. I like it because it's matte as well. And because we've got all the creams as a base now, mm -hmm. this powder can just stick to it and kind of just make it all blend together. So the cream shadow actually works as a good base for any further products that you're going to apply onto your eye. Um, what do you call it? Your eyelid. Exactly. I'm getting tired because Monique's taking It's only one half. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We're free. Okay, and then we've got, I love it because it's, this is a very smart palette because it's mainly matte and got two little pops, pops. of color which we're just going to add in the center. Not pops of color, pops of shimmer. Shimmer. So what's your golden rule? I think in your 40s you can still get away with a bit of shimmer, not glitter. Like anything that's a bit of sparkle, okay. just to give that dimension in the eye. You can definitely do that, but okay. above 50 I wouldn't go for any shimmer. <laughs> really, you got to work it now. You've got seven more years seven left. Years. Let's do it. <laughs> You can explain the brush. This is my 239, the flat applicator brush from there. And then I'm once again, just pressing it down. I'm not putting a ton of color so that I, it's so sparkly. It's mm. just an illusion. Keep working up for me. You're just an illusion. <laughs> She's going to be an illusion. <laughs> I'm just going to connect it to the bottom as well. I've got a little golden rule. What do you do at the top, you do at the bottom. Perfect. And I'm actually going to use this dark eyeshadow to even intensify that little more dark and water line that I've got close to me. And this is just going to make it all set as well. And I love that it's got like such a plummy undertone. This is a very advanced tutorial for women over 40. <laughs> Brie, are you going to be able to do all this? <laughs> Unfortunately, I can just watch it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it on. Lucky you. Okay, because there's like steam yeah. coming out of my ears and I am familiar with makeup. One you need to thing. simplify, Monique, simplify. <laughs> okay, one more thing, just for under the eye. This is crucial though. Look up for me. You connect the bottom outer third, ever so slightly. Not all the way through. You also don't need an eye, eye, eye pencil for this. Just use your darkest eyeshadow. The so one side's are completely tilting up. Yeah. Mm. Tilting up is what we want for you. Yeah. So enhancing the lash line is like one of the best steps to making yourself look younger. Okay, now, Brie, are you feeling younger? Yeah. Oh, looking okay. younger. Half of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about curling the lashes. What does that do? Oh, so nice. The more curled your lash is, the longer it appears. It's not a very instant or quick fix. It's also a process. That's what it's like, guys. When you are in your 40s, you got to work for it. Fortunately, that's life. Exactly. Now, Sucks. we're going to go in. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> There's a, there's a world, there's a way. Yes, and if there's three hours in the morning, there's also a way. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, just phone me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the Catrice Cosmetics Glam and Doll Volumizing Waterproof Mascara. The reason why I chose this one is because of the silicone brush. Just think when you're older, it's easier to handle around your eyes. Mm -hmm. You can maybe comb each lash and get in there. And waterproof is just better because it's just not going to get everywhere. I'm just going to refresh with concealer under the eye again, my same, same colour. Okay, what are we doing now? The best tip for anyone in their 40s is to invest in individual eyelashes. Figure out how to do it, on your, put it on yourself. It is literally the most instant lift in your eye that you will ever get. I like the eye lure individual eyelashes. I just want to use the mascara to make 
her natural lashes and my additional lashes come one. Become one. Let's see, open up. I'm such a good makeup oh. artist. Oh. Look what I did. Hello. 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 Now, guys, I do want to remind you to watch this video to the end. Even though it might take all of the energy you have left in your soul because it feels like it's a never ending tutorial, because you do stand a chance of winning an exquisite hamper featuring Ofra products that will be shipped directly to your door as long as you live anywhere in South Africa. So do watch until the end and then I'll tell you how to enter for that giveaway. Monique, hurry up. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so now I'm just adding, oh, I love this color. It's like a pinky peachy blush and I'm just placing it on the apple of her eye oh, apple of her. Okay. <laughs> I'm just placing the blush on the apple of her cheek with just above the contour I love to warm it up just around the hairline oops there's nothing That's on that it. side there we go final step and my final tip for anyone over 40 is to use lip liners instead of lipsticks you might be over 50 by the time you get to this point in the video though <laughs> So I overdraw slightly on the edge, following the natural lip line. And what I like about this pencil is that it's a retractable. So the points, you don't have to sharpen this pencil ever. And it's just a like precise application. It's got a thin little tip. We actually used this in one of our other videos, so I feel oh. like this is going to become an iconic product Ooh. here on the Claire Lisa Vincel YouTube channel. <laughs> iconic, guys, oh. Cosnova. So are we going to do highlighter, Ombre? I've chosen not to, just because I've highlighted with the concealer and the skin tone of the actual foundation. Because she's got quite a bit of crow's feet around the area exactly where I'm planning on placing the highlighter. So I've just opted for, to leave it. So we can't put highlighter on the crow's feet because it's going to make you look older, but where can we put it? So my favorite places, I use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Bronze and Glow Highlighter. Mm -hmm. Tiny bit of it, love it. On the tip of her nose, then on the center of her nose, not all the way straight through, just a little broken line, as we said. And then on her cupid's bow, a little bit over there. Whenever you're wearing that top or anything Sorry. that shows these little collarbones, I always have to highlight them as well. Still using the 217 blending brush. Just highlight the inner corner of the eye. Yeah, that's a good spot. Just to give you that subtle lift under the bra. Perfect. This is from Offrun. And should you always go for more of a sticky lip gloss than a slippery one? Yeah, definitely. This is just going to be easier to, to eat, to do anything. It doesn't move everywhere. Okay guys, so here you have the fabulous new and improved 10 years younger Brie, done by the fabulous Monique de Toy. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below to stand a chance of winning an Ofra Cosmetics hamper that will be sent straight to your door. Just let us know in the comments below what is your favorite part of Bree's transformation and what is the one tip that you're going to be using at home. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified every time I post a new one.